Hello, welcome to another vlog. I didn't start this one properly because it was when Matt, when Mark, when Matt was off work recovering from his surgery. So I just wanted to make an intro so that you know what's going on. Basically, little Matthew was supposed to be resting up and not doing much, but he decided that he wanted to re do this whole house. I think maybe being in the house a lot longer than he usually is was getting to him a little bit, as it does with me. So he decided that we were to get new carpets, lay down new flooring in the hallway, new carpets and new flooring all throughout apart from the kitchen, and buy a new couch. So that's what we were doing in this vlog. But then I just kind of stopped filming that and then I went on a day trip with my dad and I filmed some of that. And then I stopped filming completely and I just spent the rest of the two weeks with Matt and uh, doing random stuff that we needed to do, like going to the shop to get Caden football and just doing little bits and bobs here. But I was really annoyed with Matthew because he was supposed to be resting up and not lifting much and he kept on trying to help me move all this stuff. I moved a lot of the stuff by myself so um, he didn't have to do it and I got rid of the couch as well by myself. So uh, yeah, a lot happened in those couple of weeks and I wasn't able to vlog the way that I usually vlog. Well, I could have but I chose not to. I chose to give Matt his privacy as he was recovering and as you will see later on in this vlog, he doesn't know what video is. <laughs> I was pointing the camera to him. I was like, I'm going to vlog this process. And he was like, fine, whatever. And then I pointed the camera to him and he posed for a picture. And I was like, it's not a picture, it's a video. And I remember when, you know, people started videoing for the first couple of months, like the first time, a lot of people thought that it was a photo. And you always heard in the videos, it's not a photo, it's a video. You're going on YouTube or whatever. Um, so I found that really funny because he's like way behind in the times and it was so cute but yes so this video is going to be a little bit sporadic and then it kind of just ends with me and my dad going on that place but I'm going to put afters in this video as well so what I'm actually going to do is tidy the house as if we had just done it <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the afters and you can see all the changes that we made because we moved all the rooms around we got rid of some furniture and uh, we bought new furniture too. So I'm gonna show you all that. So stay tuned till the end of the video if you wanna see that. And thank you so much for sticking by me while I go through this weird patch of video uh, making sort of thing. And I hope that you have been enjoying them and hopefully we will get back to, well, I was gonna say regular schedule, but I've literally never had a regular schedule for this channel. So hopefully I'll get back to what I wanna make this channel soon. Um, but I'm having fun making the videos so far so yes I thought I would come on and say that and uh, I need to go and pick up Caden now so I'm gonna go do that and you can enjoy the rest of this video bye all right so as I say I didn't properly record this because we were doing it here and there so this is a little clip of me showing you what midway was like after I got rid of the couch uh, the dining table is there obviously and this is my last Ikea table. I used to have two of these and now I have one because I <laughs> got rid of one but then I'm gonna get rid of this one too. So this is me taking it apart, getting ready for it to go away, hoping it will be a see you later alligator situation because I don't want it anymore which I kind of regret getting rid of these two tables because now I have no space whatsoever to do any of my artwork or my shop stuff but we live and learn. I also left in a couple of clips of me and Matt talking just to I don't know give a different perspective on the day so I will let you listen to that while I uh, be quiet for a little bit so that you can hear that but yeah I'm just taking apart the table and then we're going to take it to Skip. He was helping me figure out what one fit in here because we couldn't find it but I think we found the right one for the job so we eventually did that and I just continued on my way. I am wearing the comfiest ugliest shoes in the world. Um, <laughs> I don't wear these anymore because it's winter now but when we were doing this it was summer so yes anyway here's the little clips. 
Jeez. It's just so tedious, isn't it? Why wouldn't it just come home? Who are you after that? Lucky Joy. Lucky Joy. You can get loads of things like ratchet spanners, that like that. You can get the cordless pro ones that are better going on top of it and do it in like two seconds. But and then I go back to unscrewing it again, as you can see. This was a very long process. It took me quite a while, even when it was sped up, it took a long time. So I did it and we are happy with it now. After that, I decided to get rid of the dining chairs, which we have had for years. We've had them for about eight years now. And they came in a set of six to start with. And we only ended up with two left by this time. And I decided it was time to get rid of them. So... We did, we got rid of them and now we have foldable Ikea chairs but we don't leave them out all the time which I like because I don't like them being there but... You okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm just uh, breaking the chairs. But I had to proper bash these most of the time. It was really hard. And it took a long time as well. Now I'm showing you a quick pan of what it was like with everything gone and set up and obviously this is my new desk but we did not know that we were gonna be replacing the carpets so this was just what I thought it was gonna be like and I was quite happy with it the carpets are disgusting they look clean but they're not and then this is like part way through of me uh just filming all of the stuff that we've taken from the bedroom and put in here so that we could do the other carpet. And as you can see, the living room carpet's already been replaced. So yeah, uh, but we both did it ourselves. Matt, again, shouldn't have been doing this, but he did. And uh, it was quite hard. Here he is hoovering. <laughs> and then he is just posing for a picture. I can't believe he posed, it was so funny. And then now he's putting tiles on top of the carpet in the hallway. We just decided to cover the carpet, which was a bad idea. They're cracked. They don't sit properly. Matt wasn't really happy with the finish, but it was just a temporary, a temporary solution until we can get better floor in or we move out of here because it was just to cover that disgusting, hideous carpet. And now we're on to me and my dad going out. Uh, yep, yeah, it's just a bit misty. That's an actual castle that <laughs> I mean, it looks cool. Wow, man. Then I do not the top. <laughs> oh, he's waving. <laughs> All right, so we are at Tantalon Castle, I think it's called. I should have probably double checked that before I started this. Tantalon Castle and I decided to take some clips to show you around but mostly I left the audio in and I was actually talking to you like a vlog kind of a weird one because I was totally scared I went up to the top of this castle and usually I'm not scared of heights or it doesn't make me feel funny but this made me feel sick so I thought I would vlog that for you for you to enjoy greatly so here you are I can hear footsteps and it's a bit creepy. <laughs> really misty. Oh my god, it is so high. I am so scared. Obviously you can't see anything. The views from here is supposed to be amazing. But um I'm really scared to even move here. It's really scary and I don't like it. And I want to go back home. And I'm really scared in case I drop my phone as well. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go down now because this is this is insane. And I'm scared and I'm probably covering the microphone. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Even that is like freaky. I don't know. Like I am standing on the tiniest step and like looking at that makes me feel ill. I just oh my god. I'm not usually like this. So for this to be like this for me, it's really bad. Um, my dad could just not come up here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm holding on to this side. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. I am, I'm still quite far up actually. Um, do not like this. <laughs> It's a bit scary. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know how to get down now. What way did I go? That looks scary. Oh. It is really beautiful here though. It's really cool. There's my little daddy. Little daddy. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. There's a rope, at least, to hang on to. But holding my phone is not the best idea either. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna hold my phone on my other hand. It was when I looked out one of these windows to take a picture. It really freaked me out. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, this rope really helps, actually. There's a random hole there. I wonder if you can... Oh. Can you actually climb up here? So that's a good idea. Oh my god, you can. And then after all that I decided that it was clearing up a little bit and I wanted to see what it looked like without the fog so I decided to go back up and I went on my hands and knees the first time. The second time I held onto the rope so I didn't have to go up on my hands and knees I think. Uh, I can't remember exactly but it was worth it for to see these views. I had I have taken a lot of pictures um, of these views so if you want to check any of that stuff out I will be posting them eventually one day to my personal Instagram I'll put that in the description below so you can uh, see that because I put a lot of photography pictures on there but I haven't actually put that many on there and I'm doing it in alphabetical order so it'll be a long time until you see these pictures but if you want to see any cool other locations in Scotland that I haven't recorded then you can go and check that out and I would be highly appreciated if you uh, give it a little like because I love sharing pictures of Scotland and I love taking pictures of Scotland and also you can use them as art references if you wish as well. Um, so yeah, but this is just the last of the little clips that I took. I was trying to little, be a little bit arty farty here, didn't kind of go to plan. And now we are on to this little clip here, which is of me walking you through the kind of changes that we've done in the house. I will be recording and posting better ones of these because we have actually done even more changes than what it looks like now. So I'm quite happy to show you that. We have a couch now and everything, but this was just as the flooring had went in and yeah we've changed a lot so I thought that I would um show you that and uh yeah it looks really good and it makes me feel so much better I love it so much right so here we are this is Caden's room it is new carpet obviously we got him a rug as well and I've moved his xbox set up to here so that he can sit on his bed and play the xbox whenever he wants this bag is for swimming because we're going to go there and then i've moved his little thing here uh just storage cubby or whatever there's like decorations and toys everywhere i've moved my pc to here just because he had a pc and it's not exactly the best so I decided to give him mine and then I can use it as well because the changes in the living room and my bedroom mean that there's not that much room for this. So I thought this was the perfect solution and the reason I moved his Xbox to there rather than there where it was is because if I want to use the PC and he wants to use the Xbox at the same time, that's possible. So this is his room. He's got a new bed as well, 
we got rid of that white bed and now he has a metal black one all of his furniture is black and yeah it's uh it's just a good space now and he really likes it so I'm happy about that. This is just after we've finished doing some upgrades. We've done the carpet obviously. It's the same as throughout the whole house apart from the hallway <laughs> and uh, I decided to take my computer down completely. It is now in my uh, son's bedroom if you've seen that part. This is just the dining table. We have four seats like that but we just keep one out and then when we've got guests over or whatever, we take the seats out. Then we have this table from Dunhelm, which is quite nice, I like it. It's actually a nest of tables. This is the smaller one. I just put it in here because it was in Caden's bedroom. Uh, we bought one for Caden's bedroom to have as a bedside table. I'm really sorry about the weather. It's really bad outside. This is the new couch that we got. We bought it from Amazon. It was like 700 pounds or something absolute bargain for a seven seater couch. Uh, I had all of my family and Matt's family on this couch. Matt only has a mum but uh, Matt was sitting there and then Caden and Matt's mum, me, uh, my brother, my mum and Matt, my dad were all sitting on it comfortably and there was still room and stuff so it was great. Oh this table's from B&M. I absolutely love this table and I would prefer it to have or prefer this room to have a smaller circular table in it just in that corner out a little bit with the table the chairs always there but it, I don't want to get rid of this table because I love it so much and I think that it would go well in a dining room on its own, so I've just kept it. Oh, these are from Dunhelm as well, and that's from TJ, uh, TK Maxx. Um, by the way, Matt's mum loves TK Maxx and Dunhelm, so she bought us most of this stuff, um, decoration-wise. And then, uh, yeah, I think that table was B&M. That was a long time ago, um, just a cheap table. But I love this table. It's good size for a big side table or a desk or a computer desk like a small homework desk or something like that or maybe you're not the type of people that like to sit at a table to eat but your son or your daughter does or whoever one person in your family does it's really good for that too um, but we're using it as a side table right now I've covered it with contact paper from B&M and that's good <laughs> lamp is from B&M my mum gave me these flowers for Mother's Day from Caden uh, that's a picture that I painted and the frame is from either B&M or the range, probably the range. Um, and then this wax melt thing is from George Home and Asda. Got this little bin from Ikea. You can barely see it. It's there, but it's black. Um, I usually have a bag in it, but I just emptied it there now. And then we've got this little weird alcove thing in the wall where <laughs> it is. Uh, houses my yoga mat that I never use, um, a tripod that's probably never going to get used now because I've got a new one, my weights from the gym and my uh, pochade box as well. This is our TV. I need to get a new TV stand. I hate glass TV stands. Never get a glass TV stand. They suck. They're dusty. They're bad. Hard to clean. Hard to make look good. Just horrible all round. My TV is really dusty, I think, uh, although I dusted it the other day, so I don't know why it's dusty, but anyway, there's my TV. It is a 65 inch Panasonic TV just from Curry's. The table was like 15 quid from B&M, that's why we bought it when we first moved in. We've had it ever since, but we want to replace it with something like this, which is our new coffee table we got from Roseland, not Oakland, Roseland, but it's the exact same table as Matt's mum's table and she paid like £400 for it, whereas we only paid £250 and it's the exact same wood and everything. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's so nice. <laughs> it has a massive, like, two-way huge drawer where we keep all of our junk and important information in there. We got this as a present from Matt's best friend who had a wedding. It's an ashtray, but we don't smoke, so we just keep it there anyway. And then this is a present from Caden or Kid, uh, Matt's mum as well. Basically, it's a crab. It's from a unique shop. 
I can't remember what the shop's called. Every time we go, I always look at the shop and I'm like, oh, that's what it's called. But it's in my hometown and it's this lovely woman who runs it. Her dad makes most of the things by hand out of metal. So yeah, that's, it's a crab because I'm crabby apparently. It's a pretty cool decoration. So yeah, that is our living room. We got new curtains too. And it just feels a lot better in here. Obviously my Ikea board thing is still up there. Um, it's got a lot of junk on it. I need to take everything down and clean it out and see what's what. And dust it probably because dust is fun. Um, but yeah, there's our living room. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. Here we go, so this is the bedroom. This is the most work in progress room. I did paint the wall there and we put the new carpet down as well, but there's a lot of places or a lot of things in this room that I don't like. Uh, this is the dresser that Matt keeps his clothes in. My printer is on top of it. And then there's a plushie and a little Manchester United bottle, which is just acting as a decoration right now. There's a box beside it that has Matt's pyjamas in it because we have nowhere else to put them. And a Lynx container of Lynx stuff that he got for Christmas from someone. Uh, there's my Xbox set up there, bobble, standard, um, a bunch of paper that I don't know what to do with. Ideally would go in that cupboard, <laughs> but I have so many things hanging on the back of this cupboard that just keep falling down that's really annoying, so I hate going in there. This table is used for when I'm playing on the Xbox and I want something to lean on when I'm sitting here rather than using my bedside table. Uh, which is also dresser drawers. My silhouette is hanging out there just now. There's a candle there and there's also hair dye because I'm going to dye my hair and a sock of course because it was drying. <laughs> and then I'm in the middle of painting the top of this dresser drawer thing. I might actually paint the, uh, the fronts of the drawers too once I'm done. I don't know yet but I need to wait for it to dry until I can put things on it. And I'm going to use a coaster there because that's why I keep painting it, because the coaster marks. And then I've got a little box of things up here with my summer clothes and just random clothes that I can't be bothered putting away at the time there. My tripod is behind there that I'm going to get rid of because it's far too big and bulky. And I've got my studio light there as well, which I might also get rid of because I don't want to be um, making those kind of videos in this house. Christmas bag is still there. Mirror here, obviously and uh, just a container of clothes that I can't fit in my drawers. So yeah, if you wanna know the story about this, then wait until my next video. I will be posting that there. But yeah, uh, that is the three rooms that we did a lot of stuff to. Um, but yeah, that's the bedroom. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit weird and scattered about but I hope you enjoyed it regardless and I hope that you're excited to see more content from me because I've started making said content again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!